So, my young lady, my Aisha, my sweet girl, my pumpkin, all these things is officially dating guys these days. Because she's doing what she's supposed to do these days. We're dating guys. And I have to come clean with her about dating these guys. Like, these guys are sleep with anything. Sleep with anything unprotected. Whoever open their legs for them will go for it. So, don't get caught up in the mix thinking that just because a guy want to sleep with you or talk sex with you or any of those things that he's feeling you, he's down for you, and you're the only person that he's down for. And it'd be good if it was, but however... You got to keep your understanding out for what's going on in this world in today's generation. How everybody can talk and be with somebody at the click of a button. So I'm trying to let her know that it's important to not fall in the trap of, you know, thinking that this person is all about you. Wish they was if, if you're in a relationship. But don't fall in that same trap that you fell in with other situations, you know. This is not your first rodeo, so... And your heart has already been broken, so you need to understand that in situations with these guys, they can do the same or just as bad as these girls was happy was happening with these girls. So I'm trying to get her to understand that guys will sleep with anything. They'll tell you anything. They will say anything. And they'll do just about anything to get in your panties. So, I'm teaching her to understand the difference between a guy that's into her and a guy that's want to get into her. It's a big difference, and I want her to know that. And I'm not sugarcoating anything with her because if, it's a, if a guy into you, the last thing he's thinking about is sexting you. If he's trying to get into you, every conversation going to be about sex. Every conversation going to be you know, under your clothes. Every conversation is going to be, when can I see you? When can I come by? When can we sneak off? When can we do the dirty? When can we do, you know, anything that's got something to do with being alone, having sexual, inter, you know, interactions. I'm trying to let her know that that's the difference between somebody that's into you and somebody that's trying to get into you. Understand the difference, and just for the rest of you young females out there, understand when a guy is into you. When he's into you, he want to know how your day been. He's checking in on you. He, he you know, he want to know if you ate. He want to know if you, you know, need anything. He want to know if he can help out with anything, and not just financial things, the mental, e mental and emotional things like things that happen throughout your day at school, things that's happening inside your home things that's happening with your friends or whatever the case may be. Those are the things that he's concerned about. And he, you know, wants you to know that you can talk to him about, not that, you know, you're going through something, a crisis. And all he's thinking about is, um, let me knock you up. Let me, let me, let me put that crisis out of you. You know, that's how they talk. So I'm trying to get her to know that, you know, it's not all about sex in a relationship. And there's a lot of little young girls out here that's thinking just because a man or boy is sexing them down, they eat. No, ma'am, baby, it's not like that. Just because somebody's sexing you down does not mean that he's in love with you. Does not mean that that's all he, he he's into you and on you only. Once a guy... If he's not into you, if he's just into you, if he just want to get into you, and he's not just into you, he's going to eventually change the way he act with you after he get into you. So if you be with a guy and he start to, you know, he's real nice in the beginning, then he start acting real funny after y'all had sex. He's looking into something else to get into, something else fresh, something else new. So understand that. When you dealing with somebody that's into you after sex, that makes him like you more. But you got to know the difference. And you got to present yourself as a young lady in order to get those privileges. You ain't going to just get being a, with a prince if you're not a princess. If you're a thought, you're going to get some thug. So I'm just, just going to put it out there. And I just want to bring that quick message. Discussion.